everybody, June here. Welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. Yesterday I showed you my favorite vintage code patterns and Jennifer from Workroom Social left a comment on the video saying that she would like to see how I store my vintage patterns and because I am all out of ideas for this Vlogmas business, I thought that that would be a great video for today. So let me show you what I do. First, when I started collecting vintage patterns 10 years ago, I put them in Ziploc bags, which is not ideal because they are not asset free. They're not good for archival uh, storage, which is more or less what I do with a lot of these patterns. So in the last year, I think I have switched to something else that I think is even better. And they are, I hope it's not too bright, these comic book bags. These particular ones are six and seven eighths of an inch by ten and a half, and they do fit most patterns. They are, let me show you, actually let me show you here. This is one with a pattern inside, and most patterns are sized uh, in a way that will fit in these bags. I do have one pattern, one vintage pattern that is really big and does not fit in one of these, but that's the only one. So I keep them in these and let me show you how I do that. I mean, it's like you don't really need instructions, but it's a very simple um, storage process. The comic book bags are resealable, so they come with a, a little piece of plastic here covering the glue then you take your pattern and this i haven't talked about but this is a 1920s original mccall pattern and it is a house of worth design just put them in double the seal the, double the flap seal them put them away and once i have the pattern in the acid free comic book sleeve i just keep them in these pattern boxes uh, these, I believe, are made by Dritz. Unfortunately, they don't make them anymore, so you can't buy these boxes, but just try to find acid-free archival type uh, boxes, and that will do just fine. One thing, though, with the uh, sleeves, they don't actually fit all the way in here, so when you put the lid on, you will have to fold the tops down. But that is really not a big deal. And this is my favorite way to store the vintage patterns. I have this box and then I have four more like it. And my modern patterns are just stored in shelves. Um, at some point those will become vintage, but I'll deal with that when I get to that. But yeah, this is a very simple um, and I think really safe way to store your vintage patterns. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.